In this three-minute teaching with technology tutorial, we're going to take a look at open educational resources. So open educational resources should be free, open meaning that you can typically edit them, and they're often licensed under Creative Commons licensing. Creative Commons has defined six different types of licensing that allows creative people to share their work and indicate that they're willing to allow others to reshare their work, and depending upon the type of license that they choose and tag the work with, it also indicates whether it's okay for people to edit the work, uh, to, to reshare it for commercial or non-commercial purposes, and so on, and this concept is at the heart of open educational resources. Today's open educational resources include textbooks, lessons and lesson plans, videos, course modules, entire courses, and many other resources. So how do you get your hands on some of these fantastic free resources? Hopefully someday we'll have a central place or a methodology which will allow you to search across all open educational resources at once, but we're not there yet. But here's some of the best places you can go to look for things. So if you're in higher ed, you need to check out OpenStax College. Uh, to me, they're kind of like the poster child for um, OER. They've done such a good job. They have, what they did is they've identified the most commonly used books in college and they've recreated them under the OER model. They're excellent resources, highly rated, and they're so easy to use. You go out, you click on the book, you click through, and you can download it as a PDF or in some other formats, and it's just brilliant, simple, and highly effective. So next, let's take a look at Merlot. Merlot is kind of a pioneer. Uh, I don't even think the term open educational resources was coined back when they started cataloging digital learning resources in 1997, but there are a ton of great open educational resources available through them. So if you go to merlot.org and find the search Merlot window and click on that, it'll change to this menu option. And if you click on something like search materials, for example, now you get to a screen. So here I'm going to go in and I'm going to say I'm looking for uh, social sciences, specifically anthropology, textbooks, open textbooks in English. Here I get a bunch of options. If I click through to them, I can then see some information about them. Click on this link to go to the material. Here's my material that I can then download in a PDF or as an EPUB. So they have catalog resources available from all across the web and made them available through this search engine and just a fantastic resource to check out. Next, let's look at OER Commons. So here we have an organization that has been put together to try and be the central repository, and there's certainly an outstanding place to go and search for open educational resources. When you land on their front screen, you're going to see these options that come up right here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some. I've chosen Life Science in Middle School and click Search, and now I get a bunch of results returned, and I can come out here and I can use various filters to drill down further. So here I've selected for downloadable documents for middle school textbooks specific to life sciences. When I go and click out to one of the links I found, I find information about them, notice the conditions of use and the Creative Commons attribution, and then as I drill out to it, here I see I can download it as a PDF, a Mobi format, or an EPUB format. So uh, creativecommons.org is a fantastic resource for open educational resources. So before we look at this next resource, forgive me for going over three minutes. It looks like this is going to be more of a four-minute Teaching with Tech tutorial, but I want to share the OE Consortium, uh, an outfit out of California that has been collecting resources for years. And if you click on the Resources menu here, I'm going to click on Open Textbooks. But please realize there are lots of other types of open educational resources, lessons, lessons plans, videos, um, courses, course modules available through these search engines. So look at the search engine options closely. But here, just showing you real quick, I'm I'm dr drilling down, choosing art, art history, and finding a great uh, open online text from oeconsortium.org. The last thing I'm going to mention is don't hesitate to Google it. And here you'll see I put OER in quotes, which says it's required to have OER in the, um, you know, whatever's returned from these results is required to have that as part of the search. Frankly, it would have been smarter if I spelled out open educational resources. So uh, that's really the best way to do it. But Google it, get creative, and you can probably find lots of other resources of fantastic open educational resources. So get out there, find those free resources, and put them to use.